Whale sharks are the biggest fish in the sea, growing to over 40 feet long. Despite their huge size and prominent color pattern, much of the biology and life history of these gentle giants remains a mystery to shark researchers. Whale sharks are known to gather in certain tropical locations at predictable times of the year. One of these places is Ningaloo Reef in Western Australia. My name is Brad Norman, I'm a whale shark researcher, conservation biologist. I got into whale sharks many years ago. Uh, I was helping a friend do some research on Ningaloo Reef. And I heard about the whale sharks, heard there was very little known about them. There was indication they were a threatened species and a lot of work needed to be done. Uh, I work with the not-for-profit group Ecocean Australia and Ecocean USA. We work on whale shark uh, projects uh, around the globe. Brad and his colleagues are heading out to deploy CritterCam, an animal-borne research camera used to investigate the hidden aspects of animals' lives. To actually put CritterCam, to have that on the shark, to, to actually see what the whale shark sees when, uh, when it comes in contact with tourists. And hopefully we'll be able to uh, really assess whether there's, the sharks actually do, do actually change their behaviour or, or they're just doing their own normal thing and uh, tourists in the water don't seem to bother them at all. With assistance from a Department of Fisheries boat and crew, Brad and his team head out to find whale sharks. A spotter plane looks for the sharks from above and radios positions down to the boat. When the captain has gotten them as close as he safely can, the team hits the water. Deploying instruments on whale sharks is challenging. They're too big for this small crew to capture, so Brad must join them in the water and try to keep up. And Brad has to be quick with the fin clamp. Whale sharks don't seem to like being touched. On the first attempt, the clamp doesn't quite get a firm grip before the shark pulls away. But on the very next try, success. The critter cam will stay on for several hours before automatically releasing the clamp and floating up to the surface for recovery. Ningaloo Reef is one of the preeminent locations for tourist interactions with whale sharks. It's a big industry for the small town of Exmouth. We did a review of the value of the industry to this part of the world and if whale sharks weren't at Ningaloo Reef there would be a loss of approximately five million dollars to the region. So it really indicates that whale shark ecotourism is, a, is an important uh, economic um, boost for, for some of these regional areas. Hi, I'm Peter McKissick, Ningaloo Blue, and here in Exmouth and WA. And this is a tourist town now, and uh, without the whale sharks it would be very hard going for most businesses. We bring in a lot of people for that period of time, between April through to July. Um, you know, it's very, very important for this town. If we lost the whale sharks, I think we'd be a big financial dropout for this town for sure. Well, it would be. Whale sharks are no threat to their admirers that come to swim with them. But are the people a threat to the sharks? No one is certain why the sharks gather here and what, if any, impact the whale shark tourism might have on them. It's around here somewhere because it's all around. Great to see what data we got on there. Looking forward to it. It was really interesting looking at the, uh, the footage from the Criticam because we actually put it on a whale shark that was soon to be interacted by the tourists. And uh, the whale shark was just coming up from the, uh, from the deep. And the tourists, uh, we could see the tourists in the water in front of the whale shark or slightly to the side. And the, uh, the whale shark just had one little look at the tourists and then sort of uh, look away and just go on its normal path very slowly. So that was pretty exciting to see that, uh, that response.
This new footage helps support Brad's belief that CritterCam will be a useful tool in studying interactions between whale sharks and tourists. It's only the first of what Brad hopes will be many deployments to record shark behavior and interactions with swimmers, leading to a better understanding of the biology of these enigmatic sharks and how people can respectfully experience swimming with these beautiful beasts.